Given that television stations receive hundreds of PSAs in any given period, it's important to cut through the competitive clutter and capture the attention of busy public service directors. This film illustrates some of the challenges facing the producer of a PSA to make it stand out from the crowd. Four-time Emmy Award winner, producer-director Charles Rogero has used a variety of creative techniques to communicate messages that are not sexy and sometimes hardly interesting. The PSA entitled Quiz Show illustrates this point. For this project, Charles decided to build only a few pieces of the set and combine them with a 3D digital set. The soundstage was large enough to hold a large audience, fireworks, and flamethrowers. In the center of the stage, a metal platform was built with a translucent surface, so dozens of colored lights, programmed to turn on and off by a computer, could be seen. The platform was framed by two large columns supporting a sign. The columns and the sign had to resemble the Social Security card and were the background for the set. A green screen 300 yards wide surrounded the set. The flamethrowers were placed against the green screen and filmed to be inserted later behind the audience. For the final seconds of the film, fireworks were placed across the stage high above the audience. These explosives were controlled by an electronic timer and detonated on cue. The audience was filmed at a different time against the green screen to be composited later. The digital set was created in 3D at Roland House by Tom Garver. What I'm doing is uh, constructing what's not there on the set. Several elements were added to the wire frame of the set. The pillars behind the audience, the marble textured walls, the flashing lights on the floor, and the roving lights across the set. These digital effects were combined later with the footage shot in the studio against the green screen. The process took several weeks due to the fact that every frame had to be rendered in high definition so it could be transferred back to 35 millimeter film. For the spot entitled The Future of Social Security, each of the workers building the Social Security card was filmed individually on 35 millimeter by Arthur Eng and later combined with all the other elements in a computer. The sequence with the helicopter was filmed at an airport with the helicopter flying close to the ground with the blue sky behind it. The cranes and earth movers were filmed the same way by placing them on top of a dirt mound high enough above the ground in order to have the blue sky behind them. The spot entitled Sandlot was shot primarily in a ballpark. The ball flying across the sky, bouncing off a tree, and breaking a window was filmed on a soundstage using an air pump to propel the ball through the window. Charles brought in Little League coach Norman Rockwell to act as a technical consultant for the project. Well, how about we shoot her this way, then we just have... What about the light? It's okay. Come on, hey, look at us. Pay attention, look at us. Okay, now... Right, they... guys! For me to make a clean man. Roland House flame artist Ken England was assigned the job of compositing the ballpark and the city skyline. This is going to be completely different when you see the next uh, The process of creating the music tracks took several more weeks. You got all the blues Charles retained Michael Josephs to write the score. For the quiz show, several tracks were electronically created and were later combined with a live orchestra and mixed in surround sound for theatrical distribution. For the spot entitled Sandlot, an orchestra conducted by Michael Josephs was recorded in a studio and was also mixed in surround sound for theatrical distribution.
These PSAs were distributed to 1,200 television stations and 500 cable systems by Goodwill Communications. We've been working with Charles Ruggiero for about 10 years, and uh, one of the interesting things that uh, distinguishes Charles's work is that he is um, absolutely dedicated to detail and production quality. And those are perhaps two of the most important factors for getting PSAs on the air. Thirty seconds is not a lot of time to tell a story. But somehow, these PSAs managed to do it, and do it well. <laughs>